as Nidacy. I'm going to be running you through a series of tutorial videos on how to create custom armors uh, and place them into the Skyrim engine. Now in order to create a custom armor, first it's good to understand how armors work in the game. So it's best to start with pre-created armors. What we're going to do is we're going to extract the hide armor from the Skyrim's vanilla BSA meshes file. Uh, then we're going to take that armor, import it into 3ds Max using NIFScope. Uh, once we get into NIFScope, we're going to import a Diamond 99 UMP model, uh, place the armor onto the Diamond UMP model, uh, move some vertices around, reskin it uh, to the model, and then place the model in the game. So you'd have a Diamond model inside a hide armor. Now for the longest time I didn't know how to do any of this. I actually don't have any college level education that taught me how to do these kind of things. I learned how to do it through trial and error, scouring the web for tutorials, working with small things, small subjects, and I thought would it be nice if there was a series of tutorial videos that actually walked individuals through step by step in order to create these wonderful uh, armors and place them into Skyrim and be able to do it uh, in a simple manner that's not so complex that you need to be a rocket scientist to do it. It's actually really easy to do all of this. So uh, I hope you enjoy the series uh, and I'm looking forward to working on these armors and hopefully maybe I'll learn a couple things along the way. Uh, myself. So this first video is going to be focused on what applications you're going to need. The first application you're going to need, of course, is 3DS Studio Max. Now you're like, oh no, now that's an expensive application. How am I going to get that? Well, the great thing about Autodesk is Autodesk has paired with, I believe, Microsoft, and they've begun offering the Autodesk 3DS Max through the Autodesk Education Community. All you have to do is go to students.autodesk.com slash question mark nd equals home register uh, once you've registered you log in and you go to free software inside free software you're gonna find that you can get Autodesk 3ds Max right here and you would just click download now and uh, they email you a trial or not a trial they actually email you the serial number uh, under this student license and it doesn't cost you a dime. I mean this is literally 100% free to get this application. Uh, I use Autodesk 3ds Max because I prefer it a lot more than Blender. It has a lot more versatility than Blender does. They both have about the same versatility but I find personally that working with Autodesk is a lot easier just to me. Uh, once you've gotten Autodesk 3ds Max installed, the next thing you're going to need is you're going to need the Fallout Mod Manager. Uh, you can get the Fallout Mod Manager at fallout3.nexusmods.com slash mod slash 640 slash. Uh, then you just download this, uh, install it. It's pretty simple to install. I'll work with you a little bit more on what you have to do to get Fallout to be able to extract BSA files. But let's get all the applications first. So get this application, put it on your desktop, and we'll move on to that later, later on in the tutorial. Now the next thing we're going to have to get is the NIFScope plugin. NIFScope allows uh, users to use 3ds Max to play around with the NIF file. Now a NIF file is basically uh, it's the armor. It's the armor and the body and everything you see when you equip something in a game. It's also when you drop something on the ground. Any object that's in the game is actually a NIF file. It's like an OBJ file, like an object, uh, with, with a lot of perimeters installed with it, you know, like textures, um, skeleton uh, nodes, uh, how the item reacts. It's even animations uh, are sometimes in NIF files. Uh, then finally, uh, an important file that we're going to need to get is the diamondized UMP female body. Oh, the NIF file uh, program is located at sourceforge.net slash project slash NIF tools slash file slash NIF scope. You're going to want to get 1.1.0. 1 1 uh, you just download this, put it on your desktop. I'll show you how to install it a little bit later in the tutorial. Uh, now back to the diamondized UMP model. This is the model that we're going to be placing our uh, hide armor on. And later on, hopefully, we'll create some custom armors, work with those, you know, uh, and 
you know show you how to just go through the the you know the basic steps of uh, creating things but again we're gonna go step by step work with each file figure out how does this stuff work how does it apply in the game how are textures on meshes how does all this work well that's what we're gonna do um, but again get these files uh, that I've just lined here. You can also look uh, below in the description of this video. I've provided the links to each of uh, these websites that you need to go to to get these applications. Uh, when we go to the Diamondize, we're also going to want to get the uh, UMP Base Main Body version 1.2. I just wanted to add this real quick note at the end of this video. If uh, you have any issues with installing any of these applications uh, or you know you need help with them, just continue to follow through and the videos. I've lined them up one program after another on how to install them and how to use or create our basic file structure that you see up here with my data shortcut, female shortcut, UMP custom armor, Skyrim mesh. Uh, all these uh, videos uh, coming up after this one, just follow them in the order listed at the first two numbers of the video. I uh, will tell you, just follow the order, and uh, that way you don't miss any impertinent information on installing these programs or where to go to get them and how to install them. So just continue watching the videos, uh, and they'll get you all set up with the file structure so we can begin to create these custom armors. All right, cool.